What's up, YouTube? My name's Demetrius B, aka the Box Show Prince, and in today's video, we are going to get active, okay? We're gonna be talking about one of the downsides of Amazon Relay. Is Amazon a good fit for you? Is Amazon a good fit for you? Um, yeah, so we're gonna talk about that, and also, what is the best region or regions for Amazon. Let's get right into it. Okay, so in my personal opinion, Amazon will not be for you if, if you live over 80 miles away from a DC. Amazon won't be for you if you live over 80 miles away from a DC. I think really the only way you could kind of make sense of it is if you do two things. Um, I think the best way first would be to park your truck near a DC and then whenever you do get a load, you commute to the truck so that way you're not putting deadhead on the truck from where you personally live at to the DC. So you park it near a DC and then at the end of your route, you park it near the DC again and then you commute home. But logistically, that's going to be a little tough unless you can get the load early enough. Okay, so during the uh, seasons, like during peak season, you'd be able to pull that off. But during a season like right now, which is slow season, it's gonna be difficult because the loads are very time sensitive, especially if you wanna make the money. Um, but again, that also depends on your region. I'm only speaking from personal experience because I do live in Atlanta, Georgia. So um, there are going to be other regions, other markets that you will have to you know, strategize accordingly, okay? So that's it, that's it for that. And also number two is if you are willing to relocate. <laughs> yeah, if you're willing to relocate, um, a lot of you guys wanna come to Atlanta. I don't, I don't blame you, um, I don't blame you a lot, all, at all. Atlanta is a great place to live, but you may have to relocate to get closer to a DC. But if that's not in the cards for you, um, Amazon Relay may not be the best fit if you're not willing to do those two things. Um, or you could keep, let's say if you don't plan on driving, you could keep your driver in a certain city, keep the truck there. That way they, you know, they will run your and operate the physical side of your business for you. Um, and you won't even be close to it. That's another good scenario as well. But you gotta be willing to either relocate, park the truck near a DC, or have your truck in a city where the loads are available and there and you have a driver there as well. Those are the three things. So yeah, all right. So we're gonna get into what is, in my opinion, the best regions to do Amazon Relay in. Um, we're going to switch over to my computer to go ahead and do that. I'm gonna hop on the load board so I can show you guys what it's really looking like as of right now. Let's go. All right, let's hop right into it. So, in my personal opinion, some of the best areas for Amazon Relay is gonna be the Northeast, the Midwest, my area, which is the Southeast, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, um, you know, North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida is, is, is a bit of a dead zone, we know that. Um, so, we've got those three the south so we got houston or not houston but texas texas um, oklahoma um, that region and then the west at that point then the west so california phoenix nevada you know utah places like that um got seattle portland or, or oregon in general um those are the five best regions in my opinion if you're in the middle it's gonna be a little difficult um the midwest right now specifically the midwest is probably the best area right now go and watch box truck david's video that he just posted on the low board for his particular region which is illinois um he uh man uh, the, the loads up there are amazing like they're incredible so make sure you guys go check that out so you can see for yourself um also keep this in mind too guys because i am in atlanta i am going to see atlanta's low atlanta the uh the loads for atlanta 
faster than you would if you were in your area because my domiciles are set up for Atlanta. So with that being said, I may not see everything um, that's in your area. I won't see it before you will if you were set up. So it's kind of that game where you don't know what it's like until you are in it specifically. Um, so just keep that in mind. And we can kind of go over, you know, Atlanta, for example. It's only three loads on the board right now. Um, and just in general, if you guys have been, um, been paying attention, there's only 554 loads, box truck loads, in the country. In the country right now. Um, if you go and look at some of my previous live streams, there have been thousands of loads on the board thousands of loads for a particular region too as well especially in the northeast you know I, I remember being live on a live stream and there was over a thousand loads for Delaware alone okay so this is just a testament to you know the different seasons and how it affects the market things are slow right now because it's right after the holidays and things will be slowly starting to pick back up when the hot um when you know things start to get warmer here in america so people are starting to travel more spend more money you know um they are going out more so they need more things in order to do that so and we just lost another one so we're at 553 but those are the five regions in my opinion that are the best regions um, for amazon relay also one more thing that I wanted to touch on too very quickly is what you can do in the event that you are close. Um, this is kind of going to be a follow up to what I was saying earlier on my camera. You can basically take a load from another brokerage or your dispatcher, um, depending on which one that you have set up for that particular load. And you can go to a specific city, do Amazon in that city, maybe a few days or however many days that you need to be in that city um, let's say if you can't get a load and you know um, you need you have some idle time or if you're doing your 34 hour reset um, you can actually go to that particular city and do Amazon in that city um, in the meanwhile and that could be very lucrative and it could it could work out to your benefit instead of just sitting so keep that in mind um, you know and I will make a video on why I think not just relying on Amazon relay is probably going to be the best idea you don't always want to put your eggs in one basket so I will create a video on that all right that is going to be it for this particular video um, thank you so much for watching guys if you have gained some sort of value or knowledge from this video please go ahead hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you are new welcome back if you are a returning subscriber videos to come soon I know I keep talking about it but it's coming it's coming renting a truck and I hired a driver okay so those are going to be coming very soon I'm gonna be talking about how I hired my driver how much I'm paying my driver what are the benefits to having a driver all of those will be coming up very very soon so um, your boy will have some more time and I'm gonna be continuing to pump out um, these videos for you guys consistently probably every day now because I'm gonna keep it real driving every day while trying to manage everything that I have been doing has kind of been a bit of a drag but now I'm back I'm feeling way more refreshed recharged finally able to get the proper sleep that I need so we're back at it and we're getting ready to crush 2021 I'm gonna talk about some other ones as well that I have in my notes here how to secure a direct contract it's coming we're gonna land a contract maybe not this month but next month we're gonna land a direct contract so that's coming as well um, let's talk we're gonna talk about equipment where is the best place to get your equipment for your truck so load uh, load bars um, pallet jacks straps anything that you may need um, equipment wise and then yeah we're also gonna talk about um, yeah how, how not to rely on just Amazon as well. So continue to tap in with me, guys. Box Truck Gang, I appreciate all of you for being here. We have grown so much, 15,000 subs in two months. Nothing but love and admiration for all of you, okay? 
and you guys got this. Don't let anybody distract you from your goals, from your dreams. They don't see your vision how you see your vision. Only you can see your vision, okay? Only you can see your vision. So it's up to you at the end of the day to make your vision become reality. I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.